What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the Corsair ML RGB Elites. Let's hop right into it. Now, I got my 3-pack off of Amazon for around $85, but you could find them cheaper in different places like eBay or Newegg for as low as $45 bucks brand new. The packaging of the fans looks great, simple yet informative. Opening up the package, we can see that there's only two fans. That's because I'm currently using the third one in my system. The fans are very neatly packed inside some simple cardboard cutouts. There's also an accessory box that came with the fans. Opening up the second box, we can see the included lighting node core that came with the fans. This item will definitely help with quick RGB setup if it's your first time using some Corsair fans. The reason why the lighting node core is really useful is because of how simple the setup is with this. You put the adhesive on the back of the lighting node core and then you put the other end onto the cable section of your case. Then you install Corsair's IQ software and set it up. Each port is for Corsair's proprietary 4-pin connector. The lighting node core has 6 ports for 6 different or same types of fans. It only controls the RGB of the fan, so the BWM will have to be controlled through your motherboard. The lighting node core gets its data from a motherboard USB 2.0 port and gets powered through SATA. Taking the fans out of the cutouts, we can see that each fan also came with some fan mounting screws inside a plastic bag. And the fan's cables are also in a neat bundle. The fan looks fantastic. I love the reflective Corsair logo, as well as the iconic Corsair ML blades. The simple Corsair phrase on the side of the fan, as well as the dual backslash ML Elite, looks amazing. It's definitely an upgrade, looks wise, compared to its older brother. Now the size of fan that I'm using in this video is 120mm by 25mm, and the type of bearing that this fan has is magnetic levitation. It has a 5 year warranty, and the LED type is RGB LED. Now the sound level at the lowest RPM is 10 decibels, and at the highest RPM is 30.4 decibels. Its static pressure at the lowest RPM is 0.30 mm H2O, or 2.90 mm H2O at the highest. It could push 14.86 CFM at the lowest RPM, and 58.10 CFM at the highest RPM, plus or minus 10%. And the max speed that this fan can go at the lowest is 450 RPM, or at the highest, 2000 RPM. Now, what makes Corsair's ML fans unique is the fact that these fans are magnetic levitation. The fan uses magnetic bearings instead of the traditional ball or sleeve bearings. These magnetic bearings rely on magnetic fields to suspend the fan's rotor, reducing the overall physical contact and friction. In a nutshell, this allows the fan blades to essentially float on a magnetic field, virtually eliminating any friction altogether. Because of this tech, the fans will last much, much longer, and it allows the fans to hit higher RPMs, which will move more air without creating a shit ton of noise and friction. On top of that, because this fan has air guiding vanes, the air actually gets directed somewhere. These fans are much more efficient than Corsair's SPRGB Elites. The fans are actually able to do something due to the type of fan that it's on. Now, I went ahead and drove the screw into the fan because I wanted to see how soft the plastic is. I'd do this test to see how easily it would be to strip the fan's mounting holes. This is a common mistake that new computer builders make, so that's why I did it. The plastic isn't too soft, but the screw really bites into it and sits flush with the anti-vibration pads on the fans. Putting the ML RGB Elite with the ML RGB Pro and ML RGB fans that came with the Elite Capellix, we can see a few differences on the fans' casings and logos but the blades and motors are essentially the same. Now I had about seven of these fans installed in my system already and I've been using them for a month. They look absolutely gorgeous. I really love how the LEDs are visible rather than being completely spread out. The ML120 RGB Elite is an eight LED fan and the RGB and PWM feature is controlled through IQ. You're able to apply many different lighting effects and a few custom ones only available for Corsair's eight LED fans. Everything through the software is really easy to use and I like it a lot. Now, I recorded the previous fan's performance in preparation for this video. The previous fans used were the LL120 RGB fans. These were the stock fans that came with the 5000T. Now, because I switched motherboards, I'm not going to include VRM or chipset temperatures because that wouldn't be fair. And here are the results. I made sure to record the case's ambient air temperature, coolant temperature, GPU temperature, RPM of the fans, and noise level. You can see how these fans spun slower, moved quieter, and was much more efficient at moving air compared to the LLs that were installed. Overall, these fans are great in my opinion, and really good for the price that I paid for them. 
I really enjoyed building with them, putting them to the test, and I was always a fan of Corsair's ML fans. So seeing this refresh was really awesome. Anyways guys, I don't have to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like and tell me what you guys thought about this video and the fans in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to support the channel and to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.